Kentucky's top doctor is confident we will be able to put COVID-19 behind us. So many of us are very tired of it and ready for a return to normalcy, but he says there's much more to do. LEX 18's Austin Pollock goes in depth tonight with Dr. Stephen Stack about when we will return to pre-pandemic life. We'd like to be done with the pandemic, but unfortunately the pandemic's not finished with us. COVID-19 has plagued not just the Commonwealth, but the entire country, the entire world. We know this has put a drastic strain on hospital workers. I have concern for hospital-based workers, other acute health care workers. They're overworked, and part of that is because there aren't enough of them. They're exhausted. Uh, they are under, working under very stressful circumstances. The workforce is smaller than it was before. Governor Andy Bashir announced Thursday our state is 12 to 20 percent short of the number of nurses we need. He says we also need 16,000 more nurses by 2024. Given this set of facts today, I'm going to sign an executive order declaring Kentucky's nursing shortage in the midst of a deadly global pandemic and emergency. You can see the late summer, early fall spike thanks to the Delta variant. That's when we thought maybe we were nearing the end of this. When COVID fatigue grew, so did the number of Delta cases. But now, a slight increase once again. Perhaps it is no worse than or maybe even a little more mild than uh, the Delta variant. Now we face the newly developed Omicron variant. Almost half of the 50 United States have lab-confirmed cases of the variant. As part of my conversation with Dr. Stephen Stack, he says it's just a matter of time before our state is also shaded in green. We have not yet had a confirmed case laboratory-wise in Kentucky, but I, look, I'll tell you, it's here somewhere. We just haven't found it yet. Stack says we've made good, but not enough progress with getting people vaccinated. With Christmas a little more than two weeks away, now comes a prime opportunity. We know it takes some time for the body to, of course, adapt to that vaccine. What's the earliest people can do that in order to really have that protection for Christmas. Well, so you should go out right now. <laughs> Without the needed cooperation, we could still be in this for a while. Will we ever get back to the way things were before COVID was even a thing? Well, you know, we always live life going forward. And, and so it's difficult to, to look back and say, can we get back to what we had? I think the answer is we can get very close to what we had. Stack says we'll have to adapt depending on human behavior. Some folks have chosen that they're not going to uh, participate in this journey uh, and we'll have to move forward somehow. But the longer this drags on, the more adverse consequences it has for all of us in society. Not Simply put, the outcome of this is in our hands. In Lexington, Austin Pollock, LEX 18 News.